Yeah, the fact is that they picked the cutest little girl to play her, which makes it even 10 times worse. Hi there. Are you ready to cry together? Because I can tell you one thing for certain, I'm going to be crying throughout these next few reactions to this franchise. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christina. So up to this point, I've been doing reactions where it's my first time watching the piece of media. But today's video is a bit different because I've actually seen these movies as they were released because I was a huge Hunger Games fan when I was younger. I'm currently reading A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and also rereading the original trilogy as a way of getting hype for the new movie, which if this comes out when it's supposed to, came out today. I am going to wait to watch that movie on this channel because one, there is no one else around me who cares as much as I do about the Hunger Games. And two, I'd rather just watch it with other fans and create conversation because I feel like that just scratches the itch for me. It's just talking about media. I love doing that with people. But first, I want to refresh my memory with the movie trilogy because it's been a while since I've seen them and I want to see how they hold up for me now as a film graduate. Because I won't lie, it's kind of altered how I watch movies. I think any other like film graduate or even film student can agree that once you know the magic behind movies and TV shows, you watch them differently. My best friend actually says that she suffers with this problem. She's worked production and she like knows like the pre-production and like the post-production process and everything. And so she says now that when she watches movies, she can't enjoy them because she's too busy thinking about how did they do this? How did they do that? Oh, that's a great shot. And, you know, you don't watch it the same way anymore. I thankfully can still turn off my filmmaking brain when I watch movies and I can just have fun with them. I remember loving these movies, especially Catching Fire. So I'm excited to just watch them again and get nostalgic and cry over every little story beat because the story is just that good. Although the books are a lot more detailed, if you're interested in that, I would definitely recommend the books. Please be sure to like the video if you like the video and if you would like to see more of my reactions, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want early access to the extended and censored versions of my videos, you can do so at my Patreon. The link is in the description. It is only $2.50 a month, about as much as a lunch was for me in high school. Wonder if that's the same. I am deaf, so I will be using captions like I usually do. Without further ado, let's get into the Hunger Games. And by the way, I did try to dress up a little bit for this video because I thought it would be fun to dress up as someone who looks like they're from the Capitol. However, I looked at myself in the mirror before I came downstairs and I just look like someone who's going to an open call for Euphoria. It is what it is. I'm gonna put the tissues right next to me just so I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Just so I'm ready for, you know, the tears. Because I know they're going to come. I know they're going to, I know they are. First Ooh. Okay, my name's only been in there once. They're not going to pick you. I seriously feel so hard for Prim just because her luck is the worst. I'll still cook you. I kind of forgot how beautiful this movie is. At least like the locations, the uh, nature locations anyways. I kind of gotta wonder if they're real or fake. What are you gonna do with that when you kill it? Damn you, Gail. Hmm. <laughs> At least you try to make it better, but still man, that was a deer. Oh. Oh my god, it's Effie. <laughs> I love this character. Her character development over the next few movies. I remember I loved it, and I can't wait to see it again. No one watches, and they don't have a game. It's as simple as that. What? Nothing. Fine, laugh at me. I'm not laughing at you. I have Prim, and you have your brothers. They can come too. Prim in the woods. <laughs> oh no. Maybe not. Never having kids. Here. Oh my god. Is this real? Yeah, better be. Cost me a squirrel. How many times did your name in today? 42. Oh Guess the odds aren't exactly in my favor. Oh. God, that was so sick. The whole system is just so sick. That's a mocking jay. You keep it. Sure's. Thank you. Oh no. The relationship between Katniss and her mom is so f difficult. Welcome, 
welcome. Oh, yes, the party has arrived. Widows, orphans, a motherless child. Thirteen districts rebelled against the country that fed them, loved them, protected them. My god, this is so... The gaslighting is unbelievable. This is how we safeguard our future. I just love that. I forgot how bad that was. Oh my god. Primrose Everdeen. Oh my god, the silence is making me so on edge. Oh. I volunteer as tribute. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. I forgot how good the little girl acting was. Oh my god, that was so hard to watch. Okay. How am I gonna handle the rest of the movie? It's only been 16 minutes. I forgot how good her acting was. Ooh. Ooh, the screaming. Let's have a big hand for our very first volunteer, Katniss Everdeen. Oh, I forgot this is in this movie. Peter Malark. Oh, there's my boy. protect <laughs> you. Oh my god. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know how to hunt. Animals? It's no different, Candace. I feel like that line said a lot about you. Oh my god, that protection design. The abundance of food and drink. My god coming from a district where you're starving. That even though you're here, and even though it's just for a little while, you get to enjoy all of this. I'm going to mm -hmm. find a Mitch. <laughs> I mean, she tried to be, she tries to be pos positive, but it just, you know, it doesn't come off right. Congratulations. Oh boy. Woody Harrelson is a gift, though. He is such a good actor. Embrace the probability of your imminent death. Oh. And know in your heart that there's nothing I can do to save you. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> um. I kind of forgot how messy their first meeting was. <laughs> Damn. Pass the marmalade. That is mahogany. <laughs> you get people to like you. Oh, not what you were expecting. A knife or even some matches can mean the difference between life and death. And those things only come from sponsors. And to get sponsors, you have to make people like you. You're not off to a real good start. Yeah, that was one thing that they really emphasized in the books was that this is a show. Everything is a show. You have to be very strategic about how you're going about it. It's very sick and twisted, but it makes sense when you think about it. It's, it's awful that they even have to do it in the first place. Oh my God, the colors. And I love the mix of black in there for the darkness of the Capitol. I love that. Come on. Come on. He's so good. He's so good at it. Wow. See, I was trying to do something creative like this. I, I just I obviously don't have the it factor. Go. Oh, I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! That was one of the bravest things I've ever seen. With your sister. I'm sorry that this happened to you. And I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Most people just congratulate me. Well, I don't see the point in that. <laughs> just thinking about Senna makes me want to cry. Right. They have the tribute parade. Now, usually they dress people in the clothes from their district. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. Robert's coal miners. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to do something that they're going to remember. I just think somebody that brave shouldn't be dressed up in some stupid costume, nor should they. <laughs> yeah, no, after this, all those stylists had to step up with their game. President Snow, you're live. Oh, look, it's President Snow. How wonderful. I love how she's holding up the rose. She's getting into it. So brave. Are you sure you <laughs> should be near an open flame? Fake flame? Are you sure mm -hmm. you... Uh, let's go upstairs. Why don't you go clean yourself up a little before dinner? Damn. I'm pretty sure this room is like the size of your house. One of you will be alive. Who that is depends on how well you pay attention. Oh my god, he has such a perfect <laughs> boy face. I really wish we could have gotten more of Fox Girl. I thought she was so cool in the books because she was just all about stealth and surviving. Kind of similar to Katniss. That ticket's still off me. Just sit in the issue right now. Mm -hmm. Easy career. You know what that is? I train in a special academy until they're 18. Pretty lethal. But they don't receive any special treatment. In fact, they stay in the exact same apartment as you do. And I don't think they let them have dessert. And you can. Again, you know, it's very tone deaf, but Effie does try to be positive. She just, she does try to be like, but you get all these benefits, you know? Yeah, you're going to die probably, but at least you get dessert. Arrogance can be a big problem. <laughs> Why are you looking at her? I hear you can shoot. My father buys her squirrels. He says she hits him right in the eye every time. Pete is strong. What? He can throw a hundred pound sack of flour right over his head. See, well, you might have a better chance of winning if somebody comes after you with a knife. I have no chance of winning. None. All right? You know what my mother said? She said District 12 might finally have a winner. But she wasn't talking about me. <sighs> You know, for someone who has all the reasons to be like an angry person, I'm surprised PETA isn't. I'm done too. Oh look, it's Esther. No, Hamish said we're not supposed to show our skills. I don't care what Hamish said. Those guys are looking at you like you're a mule. <laughs> well, for most people, Josh Hutcherson is a meal. <laughs> yeah, Peter's like super strong in the books. I'm getting horny. <laughs> the way the girl was looking at him. Oh, she's looking at him like he's a snack now. Hey, hey. I used to decorate the cakes down at the bakery. What kind of cakes are you decorating? Oh my gosh, she's so freaking cute. Oh my God, I'm not gonna handle that scene well. Well, I don't know how else to put this. Make sure they remember you. Katniss Everdeen. Question, do you like being first or do you like being last? I feel like when you're first, it's better because then you can get over with and you don't compare yourself to how everyone else did first. At least that's my opinion. Ah, right in the heart. Foreshadowing as a narrative device. Yeah, they're literally not paying attention at all. This is so stupid. Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> you realize that your actions reflect badly on all of us, not just you. I just want a good show. It's fine. How about it's just bad manners, sinner? <laughs> this is so f***ing funny. <laughs> if the game makers decide to take it out on who on her on him i think they already have loosen your corset have a <laughs> the score was 7-4 
Yeah. In the books, they mentioned that since she got a seven, that means that she must have done something really impressive. With a score of... 11. <gasps> Look at how happy Happy is. 11. Oh. She shot an arrow at your head. Well, at an apple. Mm. Oh my god, he's such a good villain. The way he just speaks. Oh my god. So you and I will be going down at nine. Well, what about him? No, he says he wants to be trained on his own from now on. This kind of thing does happen at this point. There's only one winner, right? Yeah, no, in the books, this really messes with Katniss's head. Caesar Flickerman! Caesar, Nepo, baby Flickerman. Oh. Oh man, the sound design was so good. My heart stopped. Did any of you experience this as well? My heart stopped. God, he's so good at this. Ah, I think that's a yes. <laughs> See, she's getting into it. She's she learns kind of quickly in the books from what I remember. The shower. <laughs> we have different shower. I have a question for you, Caesar. Do I smell like roses to you? Um, take away. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, I've lived here longer. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's so good at it. He has such showmanship. Peter is so good at it. And when you get home, she'll have to go out with you. Right, folks? <laughs> oh, his love. I don't think Winnie's going to help me at all. And why not? Because she came here with me. <laughs> what the hell? Train alone? Is that how you want to play? <laughs> She's so aggressive. It's a television show. Hmm. And being in love with that boy might just get you sponsors, which could save your damn life. That's so weird that people are just like celebrating the night before it happens. That's so weird. Mm. That's supposed to be one of the moments where you realize that they have more of a mental communication than anything else. I'm not allowed to bet. But if I could, I'd bet on you. Oh, God. God, Sin is so good to her. He's so good to her. What the f Okay. They're in the tubes. The only thing I really remember about this part was blood. I do remember lots of blood flying around. Not watching, just like he said he went. Smart runs away. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. I forgot how violent these movies were. This was PG-13, right? My God. I didn't have to see them. Oh, my God. Please don't kill me. Oh, no. That's what she's going to press it. Hey, lover boy. You sure she went this way? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, we're in the books, Katniss nearly falls out of the tree because she's so shocked. Killing another? Um oh my god, they're so f***ing twisted! Oh my god, that's so gross. Get a cannon ready. Oh, you sick f. <laughs> they are so sick. I mean, I get that that's how they were trained, but oh my god. Oh, she knows how to use a bow? Maybe you should throw the sword. <laughs> Let's just wait her out. 
Mm. Oh my god, so bad. Ugh. Oh my god, I love it. He sees her in pain and then he feels so sympathetic that he tries his best to get her sponsors. Oh my god, he's such a good person sometimes. Oh, oh, oh my god. We all knew Esther was good with the knife. Slay! It even looks magical just looking at it. Ah, da, 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 so gross. Mm. I always wondered how that would have worked out considering, you know, one of them would have had to survive and they kill the other one eventually. I always wondered about that. Those of you who don't know, tracker tackers are genetically engineered wasps whose venom causes searing pain, powerful hallucinations, and in extreme cases, death. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, this is so painful to watch. What the f? to watch. I don't remember these movies being this violent. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts. That hurts to look at. That hurts me. Oh, she's taking the bow. Mm, the rigor mortis set in quick. She's still like there enough to do all this? Yeah, here, go. What are you doing? Go. I'm kind of tripping here, Vita. Give me a minute. Oh, this is not like a good time to be on a trip. Like that, she's still trying to be careful. She's not 100% trusting of Katniss yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so adorable. I'm the boy from my district. <laughs> yeah, he's okay. I love how she had that knowing smile. Is all of that true? What? You and him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, they're just setting me up. We need a signal in case one of us gets held up. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mocking Jace. That's great. They got all that supply, really. I mean, you're kind of stupid for putting mines around your supply. Okay, you need to get up and run. Get up and run. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Yeah, the fact is that they picked the cutest little girl to play her, which makes it even ten times worse. That was her first kill, right? Oh my god. Okay. A bed of grass. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, her apologizing? Oh my god, I forgot how much this scene hurt to watch. <laughs> Katniss's act of genuine love for Rue for doing this with like an act of defiance against the capital, and it's so poetically beautiful and just sad. No, I would never believe that for a second. The fact that they both believed it and went for it, I'm like, no, I don't believe them. Why would we believe them? What what reason has the Capitol given us at this point to believe anything that they say? I would have not believed them when I heard that announcement. Although I don't think I would have been I would have been alive this long. I'm not very stealthy. I'm not really good at the outdoors. Definitely would have died within the first day. How long do you think you would have lasted? I'm just curious. I'm good with the knife though. I'm good with knife throwing. I don't know if I could kill anyone though. <laughs> Can't even kill a spider without feeling guilty. <gasps> see, how did you do that? Oh, okay, I see. We'll just get you some medicine. <laughs> <laughs> in case I didn't make it clear I'm very much team PETA <laughs> I love hey Mitch I should have gone to you I should have just gone out in the rain and... I remember the first time I saw you your hair was in two braids instead of one after that I I watched you going home every day. I like that he's trying to make it clear to her, like, I do actually have feelings for you. There will be a feast tomorrow at the Cornucopia. Each of you needs something desperately. And we plan to be generous hosts. Your medicine. <sighs> Motherfuckers. Sorry, Gail. Sorry that I don't feel that sorry. He's literally dying as a result of his injuries. Like, crazy if you thought she was actually going to stay. Oh. Listen, honey, Esther has some anger issues. Trust me. That you couldn't help your little friend. Rue. Mm. Yeah, well, we killed her. You kill her? I heard you. Do her name! Oh. Just this time, 12. For Rue. Do you need some of that, too? I'm okay. Come on. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. One. Katniss is so used to taking care of other people. I feel like this is such a tender moment where Peta is taking care of her. I'm sure she's not used to that. <laughs> the people watching. <laughs> That's so funny. They were so invested. So much better. 
Oh my god, Peter. <laughs> wow. Anything. See, that's some miracle shit right there. I could go home. Ugh, the false hope. Ugh! Peter! That's Nightlock, Peter! You'll be dead in a minute! I didn't, I didn't know. You scared me to death. Mm. Damn you. I'm sorry. Why is it getting so dark? I must be in a hurry to end it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Mm-mm. This is amping me up for a jump scare. I'm not appreciating it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it got me. It got me good. It got me. Oh my god. They look so gross. They would look more gross if they were accurate to the book, but yeah. Oh yeah, his leg. His leg. This fucker. Although I do feel bad for Kato on some level. Dead anyway. I always was, right? I didn't know that till now. One more kill. It's the only thing I know how to do. Oh, great shot. I feel bad for them just because they're trained to do this their whole life and then they don't even realize that even if they win the game they're still prisoners to the capital. Mercy kill please hurry up. Hurry up with the mercy kill please. Oh, making it daytime now. The previous revision allowing for two victors from the same district has been revoked. There's only one victor. Maybe crown. The odds be ever in your favor. They're such <laughs> terrible, terrible people. Terrible. Go ahead. The fact that he was gonna let her do it. No, trust me. Just the music doing it for me. Together? Together. Stop! <laughs> Stop! May I present the winners of the 74th Annual Hunger Games. <laughs> you motherfuckers. I'm sorry it didn't go the way they planned. You know, I'm not very happy with them either. Deadness. They don't take these things lightly. That is so sickening. That is so good. That is such a straightforward message of f yourself. Oh my god. It is such a good scene. You, you'd rather die than not be with him, you understand? I couldn't imagine life without him. Oh my god. What a lovely pin. Thank you. It's from my district. They must be very proud of you. At least there's a moment of happiness for the district, seeing them come back. Both of them. Ah, such a good final scene, my god. So that was my commentary for The Hunger Games. I was thinking about doing a review after watching the movie, but then I decided, kind of like I'm doing with my Fear Street trilogy reaction, I'm going to wait until the final movie, Mockingjay Part 2, to actually do a full thorough review of the entire trilogy. I say trilogy, but it's technically four movies, so 
but I just want to say right now that I still thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to cry as much as I did. I knew I was going to cry with the Rue scene. Like that's a given for any Hunger Games fan. But crying 16 minutes in, <laughs> like, come on, it's been 16 minutes. But I want to know your opinions down below in the comments if you are someone who has read the books or has just watched the movies. Like, what do you think of them? Are you at, like actively a big fan and are incredibly excited for this new movie? Because I am. Let me know if I missed any details from this movie that maybe I just didn't catch because I'm still in the process of rereading the original big book trilogy. Remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my reactions. And remember, if you're interested in the extended and uncensored versions of my reactions, you can do so at my Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching The Hunger Games with me, and until the next one, bye.